Hi, Rich Valentiner here at Martial Arts and Fitness, and in this lesson I wanted to go through the different blocks, right? So it's the checking and blocking sequence of going over uh, all the different ones, and uh, both from the uh, side of a traditional, let's say, Wado type person versus someone in Koryu, and looking at all the, the differences, and then at the end I'll put uh, together a drill that will cover all of them. Uh, first one that we're talking about is the, the high block. So traditionally we're here, right? It's on a 45 degree angle. It's, let's say, a fist above your head right there. And we cross the arms. And here the hand goes into its place. So the fist goes into its place. The other hand drops down and it's action reaction. So the elbow goes up and the supporting hand comes back in a chamber, chamber position. So here, straight up elbow out. Here, up, elbow up. So this is a traditional, more from the traditional Wado point of view. And again, from a traditional Wado point of view, um, I'll do the low blocks now. So here, fists are closed. Hand comes up to the ear, palm facing my ear, moving forward, and at the last second they both turn. Here, turn. Here, turn. Last second. Now, inside middle block, from here, the arm that's going to block goes low, and the elbow already goes into its position and then just turns up. And again, is that action reaction from here into a chamber position. Okay, so again, here, both on about a 45 degree angle 45 up, 45 down, palms facing away, turning, and both fists turn at the same time. Okay, so from here to the side both turning at the same time, so that middle block. And it should be typically around eye height, right? Uh, outside middle block from a Wado perspective, right? Uh, if I'm here and I wanted to do the outside middle block again, around eye height, it's more like a punch towards the target, and as soon as it hits almost its height, the elbow goes out. So again, both palms out, firing, and at the last second, the elbow fires across and the Kamaya fires in. So from here, that action reaction, right? So in there, uh, traditionally uh, in the Wado, those are the most main ones, except for the Shuto block. Uh, the main Wado style of uh, Shuto is one where we start with the rear hand behind, like it's on a countertop. Right? And the height is about your solar plexus level. So back on the countertop here. The other hand here, vertical, straight, right? Palm facing my ear. So it's across as far as I can get it, that it's vertical with the hand here. Slowly move across, and obviously the thumbs are kept in. And at the last second, they both turn again. So if I want to switch sides, again, this goes down on the countertop. This comes vertical straight across, they move together, and turn. And again, countertop, vertical, turn. Countercop, countertop, vertical, and turn. Towards the camera, looking like All right, so that's a traditional shoot And when it ends here, this hand is on a slutward up angle. This one, I'm kind of looking through just around uh, my knuckle height here again. Um, and this hand is here and the thumbs are in, right? So those are the traditional uh, Wado blocks. The uh, one, and notice almost all of them except the Shuto, the hands are closed. The only slight difference is in some katas that we were taught in our system, uh, there was more of a striking Shuto. Right? That one was more of a blocking shuto, the striking shuto where the hand is directly straight here and instead of being vertical, it's on an angle by the ear, palm by the ear, and you strike forward. Right? So I'm here, strike. So the shuto, the supporting kamai hand ends up in the same spot, but we're striking down. It might be slightly lower than what I would have been before. Right, to hit a target, so slightly lower strike when we're striking these ways. Right. Okay. 
right, towards the camera. All right, so that takes care of all of the uh, Watto uh, blocks. Now for the Koryu set, in the Koryu, uh, which is more ancient style, Watto is more a uh, way of peace and harmony. This set, instead of having closed hands all the time, uh, it's the check is always done with an open hand, typically. So again, running off of our um, blocks for the head, we would check across the face area to actually do the block and then lift the hand to move it out of the way. So we check across the face for a face punch and the, the supporting block is really just to move it out of the way. So check and block. Now with this, you always want to use uh, the body momentum. So I'm going to cock my hips, push my hips with my hands so that there's power from my hands and then I'm gonna bracket my hips to push it out of the way. Cock my hips, use my hips right before to generate that energy, and then bracket in terms of blocking. So hips, hand, check, block. Hips, check, block, right? If we want, we can do some side movement with that in which we hip, step, check, and block. Step, hips, check. And block again. All right. Now for the low block, two ways to check this one. I can check it down and then block through. So I check the hand comes up towards the shoulder. It doesn't go as far as would in Watto. Slides around and moves it to the side. And typically we would block both on the high and the low blocks behind the elbow. To make sure that it's safe. So again, we can push down or we can push to the side, right? Side and block, side and block. And again, it's using the hips before and then hips in the hand, right? To move it to the side or hips and down, hips and down. Now, inside middle block, we're going to check here so again hips hand check circular motion and the opposite hand comes out here to my hand here at the eye height so again check something that's coming in at a middle height so hips check circular to move it out of the way again hips check circular out of the way hips check circular out of the way and like the others we could use some body motion to get it out of the way move our body out of the way as well, right, to do that. Now, outside of the block in this one, hand up here by the ear, moving right across, pushing across the eyes, and it has to cross the body, because typically I've got somebody's arm and I'm trying to press their elbow. So straighten out that arm, do what we call telephone, have it up here, push it across. Up here, push it across. Up here, push it across. And if I want again, I can do a step, and slide here, step and slide across here. Now, the last uh, two that we're gonna cover, kaki uke, typically a same side wrist grab. I pull it in as close as I can towards the shoulder. The other hand goes underneath and we butterfly the wrist. So imagine somebody's grabbing me, so I'm pulling across the wrist. I step, hips, big circle, and I slide in. So this, is about a fist away and I'm grabbing with an eagle claw and then this one's here the Kamai would be here I just turn it over still holding the grip so again if it's the same side grip I pull it here step around over big here and again elbows about a, a fist away from here and the Kamai is in here tight so again here here and there beautiful now the last sequence is our shootos. And again, our shootos from here, I just throw them up. Throw them up. Right? And now this one, my in the choreo version, my wrist is about at eye height because it's a swing punch to my head and I'm throwing that hand up. Right? So just throwing it up. And in Wado, we tend to look in the the shootos are in the direction that we're blocking. Koryu, they're on a 45-degree angle. So another 45 degree angles because I'm imagining 
swing punches coming out of my head. And if I'm here, they'll swing around and hit me. And if I'm here square, they'll hit me. I want to be on the 45 degree angle, which is the most optimal, right? To be able to block those. So just throw both hands up this way, throw them both hands up that way. Now on this one, you could also, could you do a check and block, check and block. So we can check the swing punch and strike it, check it and strike it, okay? Right? So now I'm gonna do a little bit of a drill to put all of that together, okay? Right? Now in this case, I'm gonna do it towards you first and so I'm going to mirror you, right? Okay? So when you do it, hand up, right hand up, and I want you to step to the side, hips, check, high block. Ready, step to the side, use your hips, check, bracket, high block. Hand down, step to the side, hips here, cock it again, the hips, and fire it again. And again, step to the side, hips first, check, hips again for low block. Again, to the other side, hand ready at the middle section. Step, hips, check, hips, middle block. Again, step, hips, check, middle block. Now we prepare here, hands are out, and we drive into that elbow. Hands out, step, hips, and drive into the elbow. Now, kake uke. Pull the hand in, underneath, big step, hips, circle, eagle seizes its prey. Again, here, in, press, step, hips, circle, eagle seizes its prey. Step, hips, stop. Step, hips, stop. All right, so I'll just do that a little bit faster just to get a sense uh, of how it uh, looks when you put it all together. Ready? And first, our high box. Low blocks. Inside of it. Outside of it. Stop. And that's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one.